Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and uh, this is a follow-on from yesterday's video where I painted one of these. Do you recognize it? <laughs> and no, this is not the same one. I didn't peel the paint off just so I had something else to paint on. <laughs> we got two of them because my husband and I both went to the party so we both got a lolly jar. How did we get so lucky? Yay! Now, you'll notice I've done something a little bit different on this one. I have stuck it to a little tiny plastic shot glass using some rolled over tape. Recommendation number one, don't try and use tape with gloves on. Doesn't work. <laughs> um, just, I don't know whether everybody has learned this trick before. So I'm going to show you how I do it. You get your tape and you roll it over and stick it down on itself. See? And then you roll it over again and stick it down on yourself. And then you rip it off and destroy the set. How does it get any better than that? <laughs> but what you end up with, I'm trying to do it with my ungloved hand, is a sticky on all sides tube of tape. See? doesn't know what it's focusing on here we go focus on this um so you've got a tube of tape with sticky on both sides so you can stick something to the top and stick something to the bottom all right that's why you don't do it with gloves because it sticks to the gloves <laughs> <laughs> all right let's put the gloves back on so having done yesterday's video and started out with that yellow in the mix and really didn't like the way that the yellow and pink the opaline pink and the yellow work together. I'm uh, not doing that again. But what I did like was the way that the blue and the yellow work together. So that's right. I'm doing blue and yellow and white this time around. All right. Now, I am also this time around. Now, uh, this, is, this is the yellow that I screwed the red lid onto. So it's a bit redder in there than it should be. But that's okay. I'm good with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put um, some silicon oil directly in the paint before I start. One, two, three. There we go. And then just stir that through just so that we've got silicon in our paint and then because so that I know that I've done that I'm going to put a big S for silicon on my lid and I'm going to do the same on the blue now these are 45 ml bottles of Pebo porcelain paint. Maybe I won't do it with the blue because I don't seem to be able to get any silicon to come out. This bottle is empty. Right. I need to go shopping. So, no silicon in the blue. There we go. Now the other thing I'm going to do before we start, so we're not wasting our good colours, is to bring out my pot that you saw me filling up last time. And if you can see in there, probably not, it looks grey, blacky, ooky colour. But that's okay, because it's just going to be a pre- Pre-paint. It's going to get to go around and dribble. Ooh, that's quite funky. Look at this. Very subtle, but it's <laughs> it's funky. Funky, dude. Funky. How close can I get you there? 
So I'm just going to smear that around. And give it a base coat. And what this will do is allow the colours that I do want to show to run down. Now bearing in mind that this is scraped up paint that I've used before. It's going to have silicon in there as well. So if you're going to use this method, be aware that some of this, when you put the torch on it, see how we get silicon cells happening there? Maybe you can't. Just, just here, this bit here is a bit of silicon. And so just be aware with your color choices <laughs> what's going to come through if that silicon decides to come up. All right. So we've got a nice coverage and a foam that will not stay. Oh, guys. All right. That's what I say to my son. Oh, guys. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use one of my bent tins again for pouring. Um, and I'm going to start. Where can you see? Start with blue and then with yellow. And then I didn't take my I can't really let me listen. Okay. Let me adjust the camera instead of complaining that I can't do it right. What well, question is I can't do it right? No question at all. What would it take for them to be able to see what I'm doing? That's more of a question. Okay, and then just a little bit of white, and you'll see that I'm just using these straight out of the pot. This is exactly the consistency that they come in. All right, and is that enough? Yes, no, no, a little bit more white, and a little bit more blue. All right, and then a slight stir. Okay, let's tilt the camera back up so that you can see me pouring. Let's go. Sometimes you got to come down that shoulder. Mm. It's very dark. This is where we start to manipulate, where we start to catch the paint and get it running back down. So notice that I'm not picking it up and putting it back up the top. I'm picking it up and 
popping it where the paint isn't flowing down. Okay. Because think about a river. Does it run over the dry spot or does it run over where everybody else has run? It's easier to go with the flow, dude. So what we're doing by picking this up and adding it is making it flow. We are the creators of the flow. This is the rhythm of the flow. Oh, oh, yeah. Oops, that didn't quite work. Okay, so I've got a bit of a bit of an issue in that the plastics become slippery and I can't turn it. And now it's become unstuck. Which is not cool. But, I don't know about you, I super like this. I'm noticing a patch just there that's got no paint. This is, i got to find something else to put this on because this is not, not a happy camper where it is. What can I put it on? Quick, somebody find me something. Ah, so I don't stick my fingers in the wet paint and ruin it. <sighs> there we go. Paint pot, paint gel lid. Yay! All right, how's that looking? I think, oh, we've got a giant gray patch there. That's not cool. I'm not into giant gray, gray patches. I don't know about you. Doesn't work for me. But the baby All right, what about that? Is that better? But remember, this isn't taped down anymore. Pug. Ah, oh, my pug dogs have come to play again. <coughs> I mean, last time I used the word pug dog when something went wrong, somebody I gave you all quite a giggle. It's not funny. I now have a mush. Right. We need to fix this. Just putting 
incy wincy drips. Incy wincy spiders. No, no spiders, just paint pouring. That's annoying. It's a pretty green though when it's all mushed together. I must have must remember that. Okay. This is the rhythm of the night. Oh, oh, I've got that song on my head now. This is the rhythm. Oh, crikey me. Get out of my head song. All the implants of the song I have going on. I just try and uncreate them. No, you're not going to fall off. And I'm not going to try and turn it around either because I'm just dipping my finger in what's in the tin and adding it to the pot. Oh, crikey. I did the last one totally fine. This one doesn't seem to want to stay and play. I'm not going to try and unbalance it by turning it, so... Just have to lean over and just make sure we've got paint everywhere. And just ask it to come out be more beautiful than I can imagine it could possibly come out. How's that? Not a big fan of, of just straight yellow. Alright, so now I'm going to torch it. Let's have a look. Because I've got an appointment to go to. And this one is taking up longer than I had anticipated. Right, lids on. They're safe. Torchy, 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 torch. Oh, look, we've got cells in there. Let's move our barrier from you seeing my utter mess. Oh, we got lots of cells on that side. Oh, crikey me, cellulicious. Don't worry, I'll take you around, I promise. Wowza. Right. So, let's zoom you in. Got some pretty funky cells. Especially around here on the side. I'm liking those. Continuing around. 
check out all of these cells guys omg that's the side that didn't go smushed wow if they stay looking that amazing guess which side's going to be on display in my bathroom no you can't guess surely oh. but wow 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 that looks amazing right now um oh, sorry This side's pretty cool. Some of those cells have expanded. That end is looking good. All right, guys. I'm going to leave this to dry. And we'll see what it decides to do and how it decides to stop. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a bit. I'm not going to touch it. All right. I adore you and I will see you your time once this is dry. In three, two, one. Right, here it is, all dry and looking fabulous. I quite like this like lightning strike down the side there. That's that's quite funky. Um cells through there. Oops, sorry. It's readjusting my hand. So I quite like that side. It's got, got the contrast, it's got the dark and the beautiful blue. And a few little cells on that side. And then we're all over and wow. This side just went to town, didn't it? We've still got that um, yellow streak through that side. Which is funny because they're on opposite sides. It's not like I poured yellow in this bit and it ran down both sides. It is one both on the left hand side, which is quite funny. We've got those beautiful cells up the side. Look at these. They're so pretty. If I can get the camera to do what I need it to do. To me, these guys always look like, you know, wailing ghosts out of the mists. <laughs> Uh, but this bit here, this is cool. I like that bit. And there's the yellow streak. It's been interrupted, interfered with. And But on this side, they don't look so much like wailing ghosts. They look like glowing... Um, like, you know, like, can you see in Christian pictures, you've got, like, the glowing people? This kind of reminds me of that. It's like, they're all walking along a path, but they've got that glow about them. <laughs> so I like this one almost as much as I like the blue one. If you didn't see the blue one, go back two days and check it out. Why are you there on the way? Check out the shoes. So these will be gracing my taking turns at gracing my um thing because I don't think I'm gonna put them together. I don't think they go well together. Like they are not a set. Most definitely not a set. And they're both very funky. I have a very white bathroom, so these will give it a little bit of yummy on its own, a little bit of funny on my phone. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. Subscribe, come play more. Love to have you come join us. And, um, you know, if you would like to donate money, you can either buy my paintings or you can donate via the PayPal link in the description. And if you just want to passively donate, make sure you watch at least 30 seconds of the ads before the video. 
and that contributes to me being able to buy the paints and things to pour on and um, dedicate this time to creating these videos for you guys. I, I love painting and I'm so grateful that you guys love watching my videos because that gives me an excuse to paint. And what else is possible? How much fun can we have in the future and what could you paint on through or for the bathroom? Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for fun and post the photos of what you've been creating for the bathroom or with the bathroom in the event for September. I adore you all. Have fun and I'll see you super soon. Bye bye.